It is no exaggeration to say the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, represents a new era for modern astronomy. Launched on December 25th last year and fully operational since July, the telescope offers glimpses of the universe that were inaccessible to us before. Space Telescope, the JWST is in space, so it can take pictures with stunning detail free from the distortions of Earth's atmosphere. However, while Hubble is in orbit around Earth at an altitude of 335 miles, 540 kilometers, the JWST is 1 million miles, 1.5 million kilometers, distant, far beyond the moon. From this position, away from the interference of our planet's reflected heat, it can collect light from across the universe far into the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. This ability, when combined with the JWST's larger mirror, state-of-the-art detectors, and many other technological advances, allows astronomers to look back to the universe's earliest epochs. As the universe expands, it stretches the wavelength of light traveling toward us, making more distant objects appear redder. At great enough distances, the light from a galaxy is shifted entirely out of the visible part of the electromagnetic spectrum to the infrared. The JWST is able to probe such sources of light right back to the earliest times, nearly 14 billion years ago. The Hubble telescope continues to be a great scientific instrument and can see at optical wavelengths where the JWST cannot. But the Webb telescope can see much further into the infrared with greater sensitivity and sharpness. Let's have a look at 10 images that have demonstrated the staggering power of this new window to the universe. That's why Webb can peer deeper into space, and further back in time, than any prior telescope. Its first deep field image, shown here, reveals some of the earliest galaxies in the universe. infrared telescope also took images of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. It's the only moon in our solar system that has a dense atmosphere, four times denser than Earth's. Known as NGC 3132, the Southern Ring Nebula is a planetary nebula, the death shroud of a dying sun-like star some 2,500 light-years from Earth.
officially known as 30 Doradus. A stellar nursery nicknamed the Tarantula Nebula has been captured in crisp detail by NASA's Webb Telescope, revealing hitherto unseen features that deepen scientific understanding. The James Webb Space Telescope peered into the Cartwheel Galaxy, named for its wheel-like appearance. The unique stellar phenomena occurred after a high-speed collision between two galaxies triggered a cascading of smaller galactic events. Nebula's Cosmic Cliffs, an area of the Carina Nebula known as a cradle of star formation, presented the dramatic chaos of interstellar energy and was made possible from the telescope's sensitivity to infrared light, enabling it to see through space dust that normally clouds our view. A stunning image from the Webb Space Telescope shows an entwined pair of galaxies, IC 1623, which are about 270 million light years from Earth in the Cetus constellation. These two galaxies are plunging into each other in a process known as galaxy merger. And this merger is igniting a frenzied spate of star formation known as a starburst, creating new stars at a rate more than 20x that of the Milky Way galaxy. The Pillars of Creation is a celestial region that gives birth to new stars. This 122 megapixel photo was captured by Webb's near-infrared camera and is a close-up view of a subset of the Eagle Nebula, which lies 6,500 light-years away from Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured an image of a pair of merging galaxies, designated as 2ZW96. The galaxy merger is at a distance of 500 light years in the constellation of Delphinus, close to the celestial equator. The shapes of both the galaxies has been distorted because of the merger. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope reveals never-before-seen details of the galaxy group called Stephens Quintet in an enormous new image. The close proximity of this group gives scientists a ringside seat to galactic mergers and interactions. 
Astronomers rarely see in so much detail how interacting galaxies trigger star formation in each other and how the gas in these galaxies is being disturbed. 